This is a sad story so far, but one that could have a much better ending, with your help. In December 2009, workers were forced on strike at Infinity Rubber at 170 North Queen Street in the Etobicoke neighborhood of Toronto after the company demanded a 25% cut in wages and a 50% reduction in benefits. The strike is now one of the longest in Toronto history. Many of the workers have worked at the plant for more than 10 years and some for more than 30 years. They and their families have now been living below the poverty line, surviving on very little strike pay for over two years. And there is still no end in sight to the strike. People have lost their houses, cars, no money for groceries. Uh, people are living in the shacks down here. There's, uh, it's been bad. Our children are suffering, wives are suffering, and uh, it's take a toll, toll on all of us. Because I work in so many years like a, another fellow worker, 31 years to, you know, I have the house, I, I suppose I rent my house because I don't have money to pay my mortgage. So I, I live now in Caledon. I drive 45 minutes every day to come to the pickle line. Oh, bastante, bastante. Yo tuve que vender hasta mi casa. Y ahora estamos viviendo unos clavos en un departamento, pero perdí hasta la casa. No la perdí, no la perdí, la, la tuve que vender porque no me alcanzaba la, el dinero, ¿no? Y incluso, ¿sabes? Estoy mal, estamos mal. Bueno, no solamente yo, estamos todos mal, mal, mal aquí. Largely immigrants from Latin America, with an average age of 55, few of the workers have been able to find other employment. They have been forced to pay for the actions of a greedy employer. They gave us uh, $15 and 50% of our benefits, which dropped our wages down to approximately $13 an hour. Uh, they look at us like we have worked nothing. The trouble started when management made bad decisions which drove the predecessor company, Built Right Industries, into bankruptcy. The same management team, led by CEO James Chung, then purchased the $21.5 million plant for $7.5 million. Creditors and suppliers received only a fraction of what they were owed in the bankruptcy. The unionized workers did everything to prevent a strike and agreed to major wage cuts in December of 2008 when Built Right asked for relief. Bueno, en, en un primer término nos dijeron que estaban pasando por una situación eh, económica más o menos difícil y nos preguntaron si podíamos hacer el esfuerzo económico de, de cómo se llama, de, de que nos bajaran un poco el sueldo. Nos pasaron dos meses, nos volvieron a pedir que nos, baj, nos bajaran el sueldo. En el fondo era que nos bajaran el sueldo 8 dólares la hora prácticamente y eso nadie está en condiciones de poder eh, solventar o soportar esa. Hay muchos compañeros nuestros que están también en... Los han citado a la corte porque tienen dos, tres meses de atraso en sus uh, rentas y todo lo que implica la situación en el hogar, con la esposa, los niños, los que van a la escuela, una situación muy dramática, por así decirlo. Then, James Chung tried to get out of all obligations towards the workers when he purchased the business. When this failed, Infinity Rubber drove the workers to go on strike through unfair demands. Their lawyer that they used said to us that come December the 1st, either your members will be working at the new wage rate, which was 25% less than uh, what they were making, or we'll have Mexicans working in there. Every day, the workers watch replacement workers cross their picket line. There's people in there doing our jobs, and uh, we've got uh, workers down here who have been working in this company for the past 40 years and their jobs are taken away. They're on the brink of retirement. Poor people won't get hired by nobody else. We don't know where to go, what to do. Despite the ongoing labor dispute and the company's questionable financial history, workers were shocked to learn that the Bank of Montreal gave the management group a $7.5 million mortgage in the spring of 2011. 
BMO's financial support of Infinity Rubber is directly responsible for prolonging this strike because it allows management to operate the business as usual while ignoring the struggle of longtime workers. BMO is bankrolling an attack on workers. Join us in telling BMO this is unacceptable and not the way you want the Bank of Montreal to invest the savings of Canadians.